Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 for Redstone 4. Yep, you're now in the future as Redstone 4 will be the next big update in March of 2018. So this is the first one for everyone in the Insider uh, Fast Ring. Uh, so skip ahead and Fast Ring both have the same one now. And of course, it has a couple of new features we'll talk about and uh, also um, how everything is going. So first, install itself. We had a glitch, of course, on the afternoon when it was available. I expected that around 1 p.m. it would be available. And, um, you know, like 1.02 p.m., Donna Sankar posted, oh, 17.017 is now there. Um, there was, of course, the glitch that we had about a month, month and a half ago in a build says that, oh, updates are available, but they're not quite ready yet. So uh, they finally found the fix for that glitch and uh, the update went through. So most people didn't have it immediately. A few people did have it. It was not like 100% that didn't have it. It's just a specific number of users that did not have it, um, which were a lot, probably the majority, but um, they finally fixed it. And uh, the install itself took about two hours and a half, I'd say, total. Uh, like that was maybe, um, I'd say, a, a, a good hour and a half, a little more than an hour and a half, just initializing. And then the install itself, where you click the restart, maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes on this PC. And, of course, we now have the watermark that is back on the bottom right. And, of course, we're at build 17.017 now of Redstone 4. What are the couple of new features? Cortana Collections. If you're in the US market, because it's only US markets, um, you have Cortana Collections that is available. What's that? It's basically the um, Cortana that is looking at everything you do and will eventually give you more information about things you do and things you like and help you out in kind of, you know, organizing everything, including putting links here on the uh, um, action center, notifications of all sorts of things. And the more you use it, the more you have interaction with her, the more she understands what you like and what you want to see and what you don't want. So kind of an interesting aspect of Cortana here. Um, I'll try to, of course, demonstrate this. I have my PC is, you know, um, pretty much in US English because I know that sometimes some of the features are just there. And, by the way, they are only U.S. English right now. So if you are in other markets, Cortana Collections is not available yet. Um, a second thing, and I actually like that one. You know, when you want to see what's starting up with your PC and, um, you know, manage that to um, stop some of the things you don't want, you had to go to the Task Manager and you had to go to the Startup tab. Um, I always thought that way of doing things was kind of a little awkward, you know, it's like only the tech enthusiasts really do it and uh, there's no real easy access even though it's not very complicated to go there. Well, that's over. We now have in the settings a new setting. If you go into your apps, you will see there's something called startup on the bottom left. And this is the startup apps and you have on off switches and the impact that it has on your PC. So low impact, medium or high impact, depending on the app that you actually start or stop. So this is cool because it has now a much easier access to, you want to turn on or off different features. It's easier to manage like this. And I think it's a really good idea to have done that in the settings. So this is another little new feature. Apart from that, the regular, you know, uh, bug fixes. And of course there are some problems they've started posting the problems again that they know about. Um, some of the problems that they know about uh, that might be interesting, some of you will lose Windows Media Player, uh, apparently in this one. I don't know, I haven't tried if, if I've got it. Uh, Windows Media, yeah, mine is there, but uh, for some people it might not. There is a blog post in the Feedback Hub about this and how to bring it back as a feature in Windows. Uh, and also, if you are on some devices with uh, type, certain types of GPU or graphics processors, if you go into local accounts, you might actually have a black screen with a cursor. Just be patient. It eventually comes back to normal. Uh, that's pretty much the known issues right now. 
Stability wise, I've had a great install, no problems. I've uh, used it about three hours yesterday, three hours this morning. No flaws, no problems. I absolutely have no issues with this build. So it seems to be extremely stable already. And um, that's of course good news for the future. So that's pretty much what we have in this future of Windows, the Redstone 4 build 17017 that is available for fast ring, skip ahead together. Um, and of course, as time goes by, they're gonna add new features and we'll talk about all of that. What about you? How did the install go on your side? Did uh, it go flawlessly? Do you have any problems? And uh, what about these new features? What do you think? Let us uh, know all of that. Enjoy my videos. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.